Hey tubers, bring you a little update, mainly on the pineapples. It's been about three months. Uh, give you a little update on them, but I guess I can do the whole grow box. First of all, I guess we'll take a look at the corn. It's about a foot tall right now. Doing pretty good. Nice dark green. Uh, I showed you uh, my last video, the self-watering container. It's doing pretty good so far. All my tomatoes pretty much seem to sprout. Good look at them. I'm going to need bigger cello cups because I bought smaller ones by mistake. And Yep, it happened. They're all starting to root bound, especially the zucchini, squash, and cucumber. Cucumber I did throw in a bigger cup just because I had one around. Uh, so far, so good. Some of my peppers have sprouted. The unknown peppers have sprouted. Um, the yellow stuffer, which seems, I thought, it, they said it's a tomato that looks like a bell pepper. I'm just thinking it's a pepper plant that they modified into a tomato taste. I'm not sure. I'll have to look more into it. Here's another pepper mix that sprouted. The broccoli's doing okay. The basil. The Fresno pepper has like five peppers on it already. I pollinated them indoors. Got three or four more flowers. So far, so good. My maruga is really starting to take off. And I guess with this new soil, I got a few fruit flies. So if you can't see them, I'm getting more of these window strips. I'm going to use a lot of them and put them in there. My Trinidad perfume sprouted. My habaneros and my habanero browns and my other marugas haven't seemed to sprout yet, which that's okay, I don't mind. Here's another one, it's a super sweet bell pepper right there. In an earlier video I showed you guys uh, how to root and grow pineapples. Sorry, I got a sinus infection so I probably sound a little weird. But the reason I say that, how strong it is, three months old. Uh, that's how strong the roots are with pulling the bottom leaves down to actually act as a shelter for the roots so you don't break them off and the strength in the plant because the base is wider so the wider the base the stronger uh, and here's the other one two different type of pineapples this one seems to put out less leaves but grows really quick I mean I got almost a foot leave already I gotta zoom out just to get a good look at it. And this one seems to put out a lot of leaves, but doesn't grow as fast. They both love the heat. They really can't complain. This box stays around 90, 85 degrees. I saw I seen it, it said 90 a couple days ago, so I opened it up and but everything seems to like it. Uh, I am a little intrigued by this. Maruga, very slow grower, has a weird bottom leaf, then it shot up some growth right through the center. Uh, never grew Maruga before, so thought I'd show you guys. So far, so good. Everything looks pretty good. Nothing's really stressing besides the zucchini and the squash, obviously, which I'll probably just let them die and plant them this year just from seed outside they seem to sprout really quick uh, here's a couple other things bananas starting to throw out another leaf this is the one I got from the school teacher and this one as well this baju right here is starting to throw out another leaf I wish I could show you guys but I'll just do an update when it pops out I brought the orange tree down or lemon sorry and the avocado put it down here and move some bananas upstairs here's my uh, ghost I brought that out of the box so I can start my garden and there's my habanero I think I'm gonna definitely put both of them in the garden this year now another thing I'll bring a couple new videos in Missouri you can distill without a license or permit up to a hundred gallons of corn whiskey or any kind of whiskey scotch bourbon any anything tequila 
uh, I'm going to be bringing videos on how to and what I did to do that. Uh, anyway, back to the plants. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. This is three months later. So far, so good. Really can't complain about the pineapples. Nice dark green leaves. Not really stressing. I did pull this one out to put it in new dirt so it is a little bit weaker. I mean, I can pull it. It's still pretty strong. Uh, and you've seen this. I just lift this one right up. That's how strong they pretty much are. I like that method. It's a new method. And not a lot of people know about it. Share it with you guys. Go ahead and watch my earlier videos how to root and plant a pineapple. Uh, like and subscribe. I guess I'll be bringing you guys another little update here shortly. Uh, tomatoes are getting pretty big. I'm going to have to transplant them pretty soon. I don't know what else to show you guys. So that's pretty much all it. Uh, I'll definitely bring you guys an updated video on how to build a raised bed my way. Uh, there's a lot of ways out there. Missouri has a lot of clay and rocks, so you got to do things a little differently here. That's about it. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.